it's Asia and welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell by the title today, we are going to be building a cozy little overgrown outdoor movie theater spot. I know that's a little bit of a mouthful, but that is what we are creating today. And I'm really looking forward to this because this is something I've been wanting to incorporate on my island for quite some time now, but I just wasn't quite sure how to execute it. But I think I have a little bit of an idea of what I want now. And as you can see, I've already chosen the spot on my island that I wanted to be in. I decided to do it kind of sunken in, which I think is really cute. And yeah, today we're going to do a very, very casual, cozy kind of build today. I am getting on Animal Crossing today as a means of like relaxing and I really want my videos um, to be me building like the way that I would build if I wasn't even recording which I hope that you guys enjoy as well and yeah let's go ahead and get into this and see what we come up with. So I think the first thing I want to do is figure out what paths we want to use. So I'm thinking... I do really like this path right here to where it kind of looks like the projector screen that I'm going to be using is on a platform, like a little wooden platform. And I know that we do have the party lights arch now, but I really like this custom design. I don't know. I like the little overgrown leaves on it. I feel, feel like it really fits. Not it raining right now. It's fine. I don't think that matters and we might use some of these little like grassy planks and stuff around the area so let's start off with this one so let's see what it looks like if i start placing it like here here to here maybe That sound is so satisfying. <laughs> okay. Great. And then maybe it'll come out this way. Can I bring it back one more? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then we'll put this here, and I believe we'll switch to this one next, right? And we'll do one of these on both sides. And then the stairs in the middle. Is that how this is supposed to look? See, if I make it longer, it won't be symmetrical. I think I'm supposed to have this go all the way across the front. This little, I don't know, pole on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I think it's supposed to look like this. Okay. Okay, awesome. I do actually like how this looks. At first I was thinking just putting it on the grass, but I like the idea of it being on like a little platform of sorts. So let's look at our other paths and see what else we might want to use. Um, I might test out the blanket. I think the issue with the blanket is I couldn't find like a pattern for it that I liked and I looked for quite a while and I didn't see anything. Here we go. We'll see. Maybe we can search for a new pattern for the blanket. I did initially, I downloaded this one and I don't remember the design code for this one, but I just looked up blanket, I think. Um, but it doesn't really go, does it? No, it doesn't. If I could find something with like some darker earth tones in it, I think that'll look a lot better. But maybe we'll leave it for now to kind of get an idea of what we want. I do like it so far. So here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put these 
party lights along the back of this area. Now, does it make logical sense that this is a platform and the arch is hanging like half off of it? Not really, <laughs> but we'll leave it. Maybe we'll bring the platform out a bit. I'm not quite sure. Um, and I believe I have another one. Oh, here it is. Okay, we'll bring this over. Okay. And we'll push that back. Something is off. Can I move this over just one space? Oh no. Okay, that's fine. And then let's place the projector down. Now, can I change the color of the projection screen? I wonder if I can. Let's see how it looks if I go upstairs. I am liking this so far. Um, we just need to fill in the area with more, more stuff. So, I'm gonna run to Harv's Island real f No! <laughs> Let me fix that, it's gonna bother me. I was gonna say I'm gonna run to Harv's Island really quick and, um, see what color variations I can get from that screen. And then before we, or when we come back, I think I might look at another blanket see if that works all right so i'm thinking projection screen here and then i was wondering if it would be cute to sprinkle in some candles on the ground where's that bamboo candle like in front of the projection screen. I don't know if that's cute or not. So what do those look like? Ooh, more of mom's candles would be cute. And just kind of like have some of them in the front and then a couple like back here. I don't know. Um, let's see, what do we want to do next? Um, let's go back to the construction. And I think I mentioned earlier I wanted to put those little, like, wooden grass and plank, um, things down. Let's check out this one. You know, the gardener's path. Not quite sure how I'll feel about this, but I think, I don't know, maybe it adds to the overgrown feel of it. I think that I like this. Maybe we should time travel to a different day just because of the rain as far as like visibility goes. Um, but it's not, as of right now, the rain is not bothering me. All right, what else can we place down? Oh. I wanted to put some vines up. That's what I wanted to do. The vines are such a um, game change. Like, just that one vine makes such a big difference. It really adds something to the area. Um, so yeah, let's put a few up. I don't want to do too many, but maybe a couple right here. Maybe one here. Oh, that cricket. I might have to go dig it up. It's bothering me. Um, maybe one. Oh, no. That's fine. <laughs> I didn't press the thing. Okay. Okay, 
And maybe that'll be all. Yeah, there's something. I think the blanket is what's throwing this area off so far. I'm thinking like a dark, like foresty kind of color would really help. I do have those pine trees. Now I was thinking of putting pine trees like here. Uh, can I move it if I grab this? There we go. And we'll move this back over a bit. And what I was thinking of doing is just to add to like the more overgrown feel of it was in, was to incorporate some of the pine trees behind it and maybe like some vines and stuff back there. I'm going to go ahead and save and time travel to the next day just because I don't know I don't like the rain right now it's making it hard for me to see and then I think we'll look for another blanket path next before we keep decorating. Let's try these out. Let's see. All right, which one do I like better though? Or which one do you guys like better? This really dark one or the green? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the green. All right, now we can do more decorating. I think I'll be finished with this area soon too. Okay, now I definitely don't plan on using all of these footrests, but I do kind of want to place them sporadically around. Let's see what the popcorn looks like over here. You know what? It actually fits. I wish the tray wasn't black, but it's not like terrible. We can put one over here. I'm going to go grab some of my gyroids. I might put like maybe, maybe just two or three in this area over here. I don't want it to be overwhelming, but I just like that they're part of decorating that moves. Um. So let's grab the squeakoid. Who else? Maybe you two. I don't know. I love them all. <laughs> Wanted to eat some food so we can incorporate some more of the pine trees. Let's just shake some trees real quick. For someone that was very excited, very excited about cooking in this game when the update came out. I do not cook at all. And that's such a shame because the food in this game is so, so beautiful, but I can't be bothered to go to the house and cook. So I was considering doing two trees in the front of the entrance here to kind of make it like, I don't know, look like you're going into the space, but I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Uh, I don't want this to be too symmetrical though. Can I fit a giant vine here? Yes. I'm going to try not to make this perfectly symmetrical. Although things not being symmetrical does bother me a bit. There we go. Okay. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to add more trees, but I just want to see how it looks to like randomly. Okay, cool. I like that. I like that. I love how the update is letting people, I don't know, I think people are coming up with themes I've never seen before, which has been really exciting to see. I probably should have started on the middle and worked my way outside before I get stuck like this. <laughs> that would be smart. If I need to order more, I'll order more. Okay, and then I'll put that giant vine back in a second. Not this. If 
fingers crossed, I can fit another tree there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, just let me do it. Move this super close over there. Put our giant vine back. Oh, there we go. Oh, what did I... I was considering throwing a mush partition here. I've seen, uh, I've seen people, I don't know, do some cool things with the green mush partitions. I never use them. Be, could be a cool way to fill in the space. Oh, I like it actually. There is a bit of a gap there, but it, it doesn't bother me. I was considering putting a villager home right here. I was considering putting Renee's house right here, but I'm not quite sure about it. So for now, we'll just focus on the movie theater. If I decide to put Renee's house here, um, then I might decorate her home separately. I wish I was one of those people that had the patience to do like the different size, different size um, cedar trees, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> So they can all be the same size. It doesn't bother me. Um, I saw a drive-in theater on Instagram and the person that photoshopped Hal's moving castle on the screen. Oh, that sounds so cute. I wish you could project things on the screen. That would be so cool. I know the TVs like work, but I kind of wish it was like The Sims where you can like put something on it. I, um, I need to start looking on Instagram more for Animal Crossing inspo because people really create some cool stuff on Insta. Um, you can, you can turn it on like the TV, it plays the same stuff. Wait a minute. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I had no idea. I was like, oh man, I wish it wasn't white like this. Thank you. <laughs> yes, great. Um, that's fine. I kind of want them placed randomly. And then, oh, I wanted to incorporate more candle. Perfect, okay. Now we're going to place just a couple of the gyroids. Um, let's do one in front of the popcorn, I think would be cute. Yeah, I'm actually like, I'm really, this might be my favorite build I've done on my island so far, actually. And this is a spot that's like kind of personal to me and my interests. Um, Cause I just really love films and stuff. So, and acting. Let's put the other one over here. Maybe we'll just do three. Do I want to do the Babaloid or the... Yeah, not the Babaloid. The Blongoid. Okay. I think it's all done. I like this so much. I think it came out really, really well. All right, guys, that is it. Our little outdoor movie theater, our overgrown movie spot um, is complete. And I'm actually so, so happy with how it came out. I think it looks really, really good. Um, I've said this like a million times at this point, but I'm not a huge builder. 
and I really think that I'm improving with my building. Like I think every time I do something, it looks better and better. I'm so, so happy with this. And of course, I love incorporating all the little gyroids in all of my builds. I think they add something like super cute and whimsical to it. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And um, be sure to let me know in the comments down below what videos you might want to see from me in the future. I'm open to playing some new games on the channel. Um, as well as Animal Crossing. I'm still going to be playing mainly Animal Crossing, but if you guys want to see me play any other cozy games, um, like I'd really like to play Spirit Bear or something like that, be sure to let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!